I personally always say that a player in any sport deserves as much money as they can get at any given point. And some will argue, how do you pay these guys millions? How do you give them retirement packages before they're 27? You know what? They are the top two or 300 in the world at what they do. And I would say that to anyone who is the top two or 300 in the world at what they did. If you're the top, uh, you know, surgeon in the world, that guy should be a multimillionaire. And you know what? If you're the top landscaper in the world, so should you. Absolutely. A and that's the way I've always felt. So if you can negotiate those deals through leverage, through comparisons and stuff and do well, uh, give it to the athletes because it's not an easy life, man. And, you know, it's not it's not all roses. And especially for guys who did it 20 years ago, it's it, it uh, did, does it ever have, do you ever have resentment seeing the, the type of money that people get now? Or or just more envy, like, oh, I wish I played now. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's all uh, relevant, of course. You know, we had the old timers come into us, and we were making the kind of money we were, were making it was a lot, okay? Yeah. All relative. Yeah. Back in the day, compared to back in the day for them. Well, today, back in the day, has moved up to now the guys, and that's nothing. So, you know, the the, the sport is, is growing, and and. But it is tough, Todd. We've talked about the family, yeah. you know, and, and that's number one, you know, as far as it's over baseball to me, you know, my family. And uh, you got to deal with that, being apart. It's very, very, very hard, especially little bitty, you know, and you just miss them and you know how your mind is on it. It's hard to concentrate sometimes. It's like, I need to see my baby. I need to see my girl. I mean, you know. And and it's it's hard. So it's mind over matter. It's 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 being strong, doing what you have to do, and get back and spend as much time as you can before you got to get back over here and do what you got to do. Sure. You know, and 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 it's it's tough. You got 162 games in 175 days. That's just regular season. That's not including the playoffs, the World Series. That's not including spring training. There's another 30 games. One year I counted 225 games we played. In the year, that's now, a lot of games, isn't it, Broadster? Way too yeah. many games. <laughs> oh, they need or we need a raise then. That's yeah. it. That's bad. It's done. You hear that beast? It's too many games. You hear that beast? <laughs> so, so, and the other thing is, how about this? How about you get on a plane? Well, there's jet lag. Mm -hmm. There's altitude change. And then you get to the hotel. Different bed you're sleeping in every third day. Uh, different diets. They do you, make, do you, when you travel, because whenever I travel, which isn't like twice a year, I got I got to blow like my my nose to pop my ears, yeah. like ever, just to get start yeah. hearing correctly after a day. Again, does this happen when Absolutely. you travel so much? Absolutely, and and you know all the change, you know what it does, and and what it does, your sinuses like that, and this and that. When your sinuses aren't right. You're dizzy. Yeah, you're Your equilibrium <laughs> goes. And it's like, holy cow, I'm I'm trying to hit this ball on a ship in the middle of the ocean. You know, it's hard enough. But you have all those things that people don't, you know, you, they make spaghetti different over in New York than they do over here, than they do in Boston. And simple dish. But what does that do to your insides? The changes, you know, of regularity at the very least so all these well, if i don't have my 8 30 in the morning dump my whole day's thrown off so i and i'm being serious i can't imagine what it's like to every day be in a new routine because i like the same i need the same routine well we had we had a little bit of advantage you sit behind the desk here at least out there uh if you pass that 8 30 mark and then you're out on the field all you need to do is dive and it'll come out <laughs> it'll come out and <laughs> But that's only on the road because those are grays. You don't want the tidy whites, man. As, but, you know, it's like New York. Honest to God, you don't order room service with your name. You always go under aliases. Uh, David Wells, what was he? Uh, Peter Gozinya. Peter Gozinya. That's awesome. I was craving I was craving. I was craving Moorhead. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, but there's a reason for this, okay? There's a reason. And it's all Boomer's fault, okay? I, I didn't think of these. Um, it, it's it's when you order and you say, oh, this is Kelly Gruber's sure. room. He's calling. He wants room service. Blah, blah. Okay, what would Sausages. you like, Mr. Gruber? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, no telling. Watch it. But as soon as you eat it that night, you go out to the ballpark and just run. Wow. And Bookie's calling you on the phone saying, hey, this is 
John Elway, man, can you leave me a couple of tickets or something? Are you guys doing all right? How's Steve? He's pitching tonight, right? He's feeling good. He's got his arms good. And everything's ever, everybody's ready. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, two for John Elway, please. And it's a bookie trying to get the scoop. Get out of here. And then room service trying to give you the runs. Wow. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Anything for a win. Those are fans. Yeah. <laughs> the 12th man. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. And plus, they would throw double A, triple A batteries, uh, quarters from the upper tank. Wow. And they would whiz by you, hit the ground. And it's like, you dig? How about that far it sunk in the ground? I said, hey, Olerud, give me that hard <laughs> hand. And Borders, you don't need that catcher's gear. Give me that. Hey, what's up? I'm Roddy. Subscribe to our channel. You're going to love it for the rest of this episode. You gotta check out our podcast yeah. online on the website. Go check it out. You won't be disappointed.